Hey guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, it's late at night. I should probably be sleeping, but I'm kind of taking advantage of the fact that it is Sunday, technically, because it's past midnight, and I get to sleep in, but I do have to run a couple errands. But you know what, I can do that after I sleep in, because fuck, I have needed sleep so fucking much. And you know what, you don't ever recover when it comes to, like you don't ever catch up on sleep, you know? That's something you learn in psychology, and also in real life, you don't ever catch up on sleep. And I'm probably like the most sleep deprived person right now. And it's a mixture of the fact that I don't go to bed when I'm tired, because fuck that. And it's also a mixture of school and work making me get up early in order to participate in those things because life <laughs> so yeah but I will go to bed I will but only after playing this for a little bit and entertaining you guys for a small small portion of my time and we're still after the ice prince I think we just got onto his route and I'm hoping that we don't fuck up, like at all, because I'd rather not. And I'm hoping that it'll be really easy compared to Yunho's route where I fucked up the first time and then like the whole emotional craziness of that and then him being a fucking creepy ass person. Which I've been editing very slowly, though by the time you see this it would have already been edited and posted, but you know what I mean. Like, it was creepy. And it's just as bad to see it a second time around, because it's like, uh, uh, people being obsessive and because of da, da. But yeah, you get my point. During fifth period, I couldn't focus at all because of what Lance had said. Oh. Okay, apparently I can't. I don't need to skip it. Hey. Yeah? Can you give me your smartphone again? I'll download some apps for you. Yeah, it won't let me skip it. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I took out my smartphone from my bag and handed it to Zoe. Since you have a smartphone, you have to become a smart woman, no? Only the detective- Only the device is smart. The owner is still old school. I tried using it, but it's so hard. I'll teach you everything. Here, I'll give you my number. I already have it. Really? Of course. I already have Shinbi's too. I know how to do that, you know. Besides, I didn't even have a lot of numbers in my old phone. My parents who are overseas, my f my parents who were overseas, my favorite Chinese place, and Soe and Shinbi were all the numbers I had. All right then, right now, I, your dearest friend, will download all the necessary apps for you to become a smart woman. There's a fun little app called Twinter that lets you share whatever you want to say with your friends. R really I don't know what that is, but please go ahead. I couldn't be bothered to do anything until now, but I felt curious now, seeing Soe be so excited. Well, since I own a smartphone now, I should at least try everything so he re I should at least try everything so he recommends. Wait, I will download everything for you myself. So he hands So his hands got busy. Wow, can't talk at all. Wow, so fast. My mouth dropped down at seeing her hands move around so fast. What? You got a new phone? Isn't that the new Omnibus G? What is it like? Other girls saw my smartphone and swarmed over here. They seem to be interested since it was a new model. I don't really know yet. I just got it. <laughs> when I first got a smartphone, I had no idea how to use it. But when you get used to it, it's seriously a totally different world. It's like the whole universe is in that tiny phone. Wait, I saw it on the internet. This model has a really cool function. Oh, oh my god! What? One girl looked behind me and was surprised. I turned around to see what was behind me. Let's use the same model! One girl shouted out loud as if she's just discovered something. Next to Lance's textbook was the phone I have. Everyone was talking about Lance's phone, but Lance didn't care at all. I mean, this model is the most popular one nowadays. It's a secret that Yuri just bought the same phone for everyone. Here, Ari, I downloaded everything. You're really fast. Thanks. Now, since I got you everything, let's text! I have something to say. So he took out her phone and touched the screen. Again, she was so fast I could barely see her fingers. Hmm? Well, my... Oh. Hmm. Will my fingers get that fast when I get used to it? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Soon Zoe's text arrived. This is Zoe Intelligence Agency. Respond! Over! Intelligence Agency? 
I will report the situation. Situation Ice Arrow successfully terminated. Over. Situation Ice Arrow? What's that? I really like that typo. <laughs> that fuss in the cafeteria earlier. You went out in the middle. I thought you'd want to know what happened. Why? Don't want me to tell you? It wasn't that I didn't want it. My expression must have gone strange. It was because I felt as if Zoe was oddly ignoring me from a while ago. She misunderstood my silence and continued to text. You should have seen what happened after you left. Come to think of it, that girl seemed really shocked. What happened? Did she cry? <laughs> of course, and a lot. Like, sobbing a lot. Of course she cried. She cried saying that Lance looked at her and talked when he usually doesn't give a damn. She was so happy she sobbed. Uh... <laughs> Thanks to Ice Prince, I didn't spend a single dime today. Heart. How is it? You got the neck? You got the text? Yeah, every single one of it. The phone wasn't hard to use, but those texts gave me a headache. Hey, now that you have a smartphone, let's talk very often, okay? Okay. Eee! Clock's about to start. The last class of the day, comrade! Hope you survive! Fight on! You too. It seems the girl didn't feel hurt after all. Is she an iron lady with a steel heart? Or just a secret pervert? Thinking about the cafeteria naturally reminded me of what happened at the rooftop. What was that? Why did my heart pound at seeing Lance? I was about to wonder when the teacher entered to start class. I should push this thought back for now. I'm definitely not evading it. Definitely not! Then my smartphone quickly rang. I expected it to be Zoe and turned the screen on. While the teacher was opening his book, I checked it quickly. On a text I sent in the morning was a small text bubble. Aww, he said thank you! Aww, you baby, you're so cute, stop it! Oh my god, what? Darling, I'm a better man than that ice prince. Oh god. I bet you skipped lunch, right? Text me if you're hungry. Ah! I want to, but I can't because I'm going after Lance right now. The whole cafeteria must have been touched since they rang the golden bell. Thanks to that, I ate my lunch for free. <laughs> Victory face. Okay. Ah! I didn't expect to get texts from the other boys. That didn't happen last time. But okay. It was from Lance. Is... Is he still thinking about what I said earlier? I turned around and found Lance staring out the window without any expression. My face, on the other hand, heated up a bit. Aww, the cute! Uh, was it the fourth one? Yeah, it was the fourth one. Cool. Department store! There's swords with his. I don't think there were swords with, uh, y with Yunho's. Don't worry, your parents will come and get you soon. Young something. My parents won't come. I came here with my grandpa. Oh, really? I'm not worried. Grandpa will definitely come. Huh. Hmm. It's Sunday morning. I wanted to sleep in since it's the weekend, but I woke up early from habit. Even after rolling around the bed and trying not to get up, it was only ten. As soon as I opened my eyes, I immediately reached for my smartphone. I fell asleep while texting with Zoe all night. Huh? I have a text. You should put your underwear in the washing machine. What? What kind of text is that? Huh, the rich ones are always at ease. Oh, my parents are calling. See you tomorrow. Okay. No, wrong one. I meant to click this one. What all did it say? Major news! What is it? Shinbi's going to be on Hogue Magazine! Hogue? Is it famous? Of course! It's famous all over the world! Do you know... Do you know how honorable it is for a model to have a spread on that magazine? No, I don't. That's what I thought! God! Oh, are you taking the limo tomorrow? Probably. So jealous! You wouldn't be able to say that if you actually try it. Hmm. <laughs> Which one's always our ideas? Oh, my parents are calling me tomorrow. Oh, okay. Lance and I have recently been texting a couple times every day. Ever since that day with Lance on the rooftop, he's been responding to all of my texts. 
Is he still thinking about that? But under where? My face turned red and I abruptly got out of bed. Ah! What? What? What are they doing? Why is Lance talking about my underwear? Oh, good morning. Master, had a good night's sleep? I saw Red munching on sweets and Yunho cleaning up the crumbs, but they both had weird clothes on. Why are you two wearing your uniforms? Isn't it Sunday today? Did someone curse me and delete one of my weekend days? Whatever happens, I have to have my weekend. But soon I remembered that my smartphone said today's Sunday. Thank God. But why are they in their uniforms? Yunho, why are you in your uniform on a Sunday? Oh, this is comfortable for me. What? Your uniform's comfortable? Our uniform prioritized design rather than practicality, so it's not exactly in so it's not exactly comfortable. There were talks about changing the uniform, but every time they were foundered. Foundered? Whatever. Come to think of it, there were talks of it early this semester. But so we shouted names and nature's to But so we shouted names and nature's do do often agree. But so we shouted names and natures do often agree and said it's ridiculous to change our uniform. Okay, that makes more sense. So the agenda quickly disappeared. Oh, I put all their clothes in the washing machine. They were too dirty. Okay. Oh! I guess Lance was talking about washing the clothes. He was talking about putting them in the laundry bin. T Tay, did you see it too? What? My un. un. N never mind. Next time, put them straight into the laundry bin. N L Lance! My face turned red. I already saw everything, so there's no need to turn red. <laughs> that smug expression on his face! Isn't it a problem to say that with a straight face? Even if he's a doll, I can't help but get red. His face was a bit different from usual at seeing my red face. Unlike his cold attitude, his face was a bit loose, as if he's smiling. I feel more heated as he looks like he's teasing me. Ugh, let's change the subject. But why are Yunho and Red wearing their uniforms? We just went over this! Laundry! They only have like one pair of clothes! I change the subject as best as I can. All the other clothes are in the washing machine. They don't have many spare clothes. But still, uniforms on the weekend. If you don't have clothes, buy them. Oh, the dolls never asked me to buy them anything. No one mentioned it, so I forgot. After they became human, Yuri started to give them allowances, so I totally forgot. He gave them saying, you lose your dignity if you dress like a bum. <laughs> but I don't, I didn't know exactly how much they received or where they spent it on. It's just one day. Does it matter? Well, since we wear our uniforms every day, they actually feel comfortable now. Don't we, Yellow? Yeah, but wearing them while sleeping won't do, right? Yes, they'll be crinkled and you won't be able to wear them out. I feel sorry seeing you and how carefully straighten his jacket as to not crinkle them. I was too careless. It's not as if they can get money from anywhere else. Then do we have to sleep naked? Yunho looked serious and wondered. It was then. Ah, I heard a shriek coming from somewhere. A door abruptly opened and a shirtless creature ran out screaming. Seeing that facial mask on the face, I realized it was Yuri. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <clears throat> you are too loud. What are you doing bothering the neighbors on a weekend morning? <laughs> I can't think about anyone else right now. It's an emergency. Get it? Hey, Tay, is it you? What? An emergency? Did you find a bomb somewhere? Red asked with his mouth full of bread. It's nothing that the bread he's eating is mine, so let's ignore that for now. Yuri, with rage oozing out of his body, stormed in and stood in front of Tay. But Tay didn't even flinch at Yuri's menacing threat. I wish you'd speak in full sentences. I can't understand if you don't mention at least the subject and verb. Whatever! That's not the problem! My clothes are gone and this- this must be your doing! I swear, the name of Grandpa the Criminal is you! Only you! He reminded me of a would-be detective who chased after every serial- <laughs> Every serial killer case. Yuri, calm down. Yes, please calm down first. It's not good if you get excited like that. And Tay, a criminal? Tay would never do anything bad. Thanks, Yunho. Yuri, I don't know what you're talking about, but calm down. And stop watching anime at night, especially the ones where girls in different colors transform into things. They're a bit juvenile for your age, aren't they? <laughs> He's talking about magic or girl anime. Mahal Shoujo. 
surprise me he's a pervert and a sexist right never mind that actually makes so much sense but like not to diss anyone who's a man and identifies as a man who watches that it's cool I completely understand why not just because of whatever sexual fantasies you have but also because like just the genre is a very nice and intriguing genre that's very cutesy and it makes you happy and I'm full-on supportive of that but like it's still kind of funny that this particular character watches it. So, like... Yeah. It's just... A little bit weird and funny and just intriguing it all at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. What, what? My lovely girl's defending love and peace or what? No, no, hey, don't change the subject! Harry's still furious, grabbed Tay's throat. Oh! That got... violent... quick? The scene was getting more menacing by the second. Where are my clothes? Yuri coldly asked. But he didn't look threatening at all with that white facial mask on his face. Clothes? Oh, if you're talking about those pieces of fabric reeking of disgusting perfume, they're in the washing machine. Washing machine? Do you know how expensive they are? They're so delicate they need to be dry cleaned. That's none of my business. Then you should have cleaned them before. If they're that expensive, you should have hung them in your closet, shedding them like snakeskin every time. You've earned it. Tay smartly pointed out all of Yuri's faults. But Yuri seemed to get more mad at Tay's calm criticism. I told you I'd clean them tomorrow. Why did you touch them without my permission? If you don't like anyone touching them, you should have... Ugh... Never mind. I'll get a headache if I talk to you a second longer, so let's quit. Me too! So let me go. I didn't put them in the washing machine yet. They're probably in the laundry bin. You go get it and take them to the cleaners, wash them yourself, or do whatever you want. Tay said as if representing all the moms in the world. <laughs> Tay's going through so much trouble mothering the boys. Huh! <laughs> you prick! Looks like it's all your fault, Yuri. What, darling? You out of all the people can't say that to me. You have to be on my side. Are we nothing? If you're asking what kind of people we are. Yeah, yeah, all right, I get it. So take off that mask and then talk. You look like a flower ghost. It's scary. Ha, <laughs> a flower ghost. That's so true. <laughs> Don't laugh, cherry boy. Hmm? But why are you two in uniforms? Oh, God, I can't believe I'm seeing two boys in uniforms from the morning. How fortunate. How unfortunate. Why not girls in uniforms? Does he realize how dangerous it is to say that these days? Should I just report him to the police? Oh, darling, what's that face? You're looking at me as if I'm some criminal. Oh my, did I just reveal my thoughts? Oops, I'll be careful from now on. Psk. Anyway, you saw you too. Why are you in your uniforms? All our clothes are in the washing machine. Washing machine? Oh, that Mrs. Tay must be behind everything. Alright, washing is washing. But why uniforms? These are the only clothes we have left to wear. What? Why are those the only clothes left? Yuri looked as if their reasons were preposterous. But we don't have any choice. We can't wear doll clothes now, so we have no choice but to wear uniforms. I'm not saying you should wear doll clothes. Just buy other ones. Oh, come to think of it, I've never seen anyone shop for clothes but me. Unlike those two, Yuri definitely came home yesterday with a shopping bag in his hands. You know, a person must know how to groom themselves, especially with the... Especially people with exquisite looks like me have to display an impeccable fashion sense for others in this wide universe. Well, I do still shine without the clothes. Yes, when people look at me, they say... Flower ghost? <laughs> yes, flower... What? <laughs> flower ghost! You're really a flower ghost. You little jerks! You want a piece of me? And then suddenly his facial mask is gone for whatever reason. And you know what? It's act he's act he's um um I like it. If he wasn't like a sexist individual who 
completely, like, looks at girls in a sexual manner, like, literally all the time, like, I would, I would, I, I, I'd, I'd want to do stuff. Yeah, and you know. But, like, it's against my pride <laughs> to do stuff like that with an individual with those kinds of views. Which is why I've been putting him off, because it's like, no, you taint my sanity. And you taint my feminist soul. Like, I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> but I have to, to complete the story, so, you know, I gotta at some point. It's just a matter of how long can I put this off for? So, yeah. Yeah. Here he took off the facial mask to reveal his shiny, smooth skin. He is good looking. Alright, honey, get ready to go to the mall. What? The mall? What for? What do you think? To buy clothes for these boys. I was about to buy a suit for myself anyways. Clothes? Why? For us? Yeah, do I have any choice? It's harmful for my eyes to see that every weekend. And I've been thinking, the way Mama Tay is being hysteric today, I can sense he's being so jealous at my beautiful self- Ow! Suddenly a slipper came flying towards Iria's head. This flying slipper, Lance's signature move. Except today it was Tay, not Lance. And today, Yuri was hit vertically. Who did you call a hysteric mama? Such a bright ear. Well, whatever. I will be merciful and forgive your hysterics for today. Yes, I understand you have a lot of housework to do. And besides, this gloriously shining body is always next to you. Huh. I understand. My existence is like a beautiful, delicate deer receiving envious looks from all men. I think it's really time to recycle that man. I nod it silently. <laughs> Ugh, you two. Ugh. Ugh, you cold boys. Now, darling, get ready then. See you in the living room in 30 minutes. Yuri stopped talking and went into his room. I was confused at the unexpected trip to the department store. And besides, you need a lot of money to shop at the department store. Anyways, Yuri, do you have enough money? My allowance was hitting rock bottom since it was the end of the month. I've never bought men's clothes, but it must... I'm having mistakes everywhere. But it must take quite a lot of to buy clothes for four boys. And much more than I expect if we're shopping at the department store. I said towards Yuri's room and heard his voice over the door. Money? Ugh, don't worry about such trivial things, honey. Yuri opened the door. As he raised his hands, a black card appeared like magic. What's with the card? No, no, darling, this isn't just a card. It is. This is a black card, a.k.a. the magic card. No limit, no restrictions. The magic card that makes your dreams come true. Oh, no, he's been purchasing everything on debit card... Not debit cards, credit cards. And he has, like, basically no means to pay any of it back. Uh, don't do this, kids. Don't use your credit card in this manner. It is a very bad idea and highly irresponsible. Okay? Like, don't fucking do it. Someone who praised my beauty gave me this, telling me to keep that beauty for eternity. So no one can overpower my glorious shine. It'll be nothing to get the boys some clothes, but more than that. Yuri opened the door and approached me. Today we should go on a date. I've actually wanted to dress you up for a while. Hmm, let's see. First a set lingerie set with extravagant lasers. If you want to waste your money, I will join out of sympathy. Lance cut in Yuri's sexually harassing words. Wow, does that mean I can buy anything I want? Are we all going out? I think it's the first time except for going to school. Now let's all get ready. What? No, just my honey and I will. Master? Yes? What's a department store? Hmm, it's a place with many things to see. Oh, and a lot of tasty things, too. Tasty. Yeah, we'll go out. We'll all go and get some delicious food. Yuri's going to buy them for us with his magic card, right? Yuri. Yuri. Well, thanks. Ugh, don't look at me with those eyes. Don't expect fatherly love from me. It is nothing of importance, you know. This is just like our slave contract. Now then, I should get ready too. See you all in 30 minutes. I waved and walked towards my room. <laughs> ah, boy. Okay, let's see. I keep thinking of what happened with Lance at the roof. Why did my heart jump? I'm a bit touched that he said he'd try to be nicer to others. I hope good people gather around him. Oh, and I'm glad Yunho adjusted so well at the academy. He didn't just adjust, he's actually really popular. 
I had a dream, but I don't remember what it was about. I've been hearing this weird voice in my dreams these days. If I tell someone about this, I'll just end up worrying ab worrying them. Tay grumbled about putting off laundry because of his work. He can be such a mom sometimes. <laughs> I love Tay, though. Tay's responsible. And that's entirely everything that I'm not. Which I am currently presenting right now. Because I'm not sleeping. And tomorrow I have to do laundry and dishes and I have to go pick up a prescription. And I'm not sleeping because why? There's no good reason for it. <laughs> I need a responsible person to keep me in check so that I'm actually responsible. This is what I need in my life. <laughs> Any who's it's, I'm going to end it here for now. We'll have the department store adventure another time. I'll see you in the next one. Later! <laughs>